guys and welcome to another dev shop it is the eighth day but it's the second day of the second week um exciting things are happening on trench 22 we have finished all section drawings and we're just cleaning back so we can see everything and then we're going to start excavating again um but miriam who you will be seeing a lot of in the forthcoming weeks uh she's going to take you on to trench 23 and show you what's going to happen Hi there, I'm Miriam. I'm taking over from Nikki for today. Um, so you'll see her again at some point. We're not sure when, but at some point. Um, I'm going to take you around 23 and also show you a bit of 22. So um, see you in a bit. Okay, so I've come to the Site 23 um, tent and I'm sitting here because it's very, very hot. It's very, very sunny. Everyone is baking hot. Um, the ground is of course it's dried up completely, so we're having to go around with water sprays which make you look like um, Ghostbusters, which, you know, is a, is a perk of the whole thing. I mean, you might be baking hot, but on the other hand, you look like a Ghostbuster, which is great. So um, I'll, I'll show you what we've got going on here. What are up to? Well, at the moment, we're in this cut-out pit. It seems to be cut through a clay floor. At the bottom of the clay floor, we have carbonised wattle and gold. And some clay as well. Very nice. And a lot of burning. I'm not entirely sure of the purpose of the structure. Um, we've had all sorts of ideas, but the only true way to find out is to uncover it some more. Uh, which is quite a slow process because we're having to go down and flat. So, yeah, it's going to take a lot of time and it's really hot. It is. So, yeah, so as soon as as soon as soon we scratch it, it dries. So, it's not fun. But uh, hopefully, by well, next time we'll have a few more answers. But from what we know at the moment, your guess is as good as ours. <laughs> okay then. Alright. <laughs> Alright then, thanks a lot. Okay, so this is the burning Louis was talking about. It's very well defined, um, and you can, you can really see uh, you can see a lot of it. It's come up very, very clearly. So we dug this area before, but it wasn't as clear back then. So you can really make out all the details. So we're quite excited about this, and we're working on it. So we'll hope to update you soon. Louis there demonstrating the Ghostbuster technique. So how are we preserving this important piece of archaeological evidence, you ask? Well, we're doing it through very scientific means, and you know, not anyone can do this. We are using the uh, technique passed down from generations, bubble wrap. This, this extension about. So in our section wall, we have the remains of what appears to be some form of uh, burnt building. That's what we think it is. Uh, so we caught it in previous years when we came down um, in this area of the trench. And so the goal of extending the trench is to try to catch it, um, both in this section and this section, and try to get the entire burning area, so possible structure, in plan. Uh, and we have constructed, uh, through some very skillful engineering, uh, a canopy to work under. So part of the issue is just that the soil is baking, uh, so that's one problem. And the other is just, it just makes it easier to work <laughs> Very scientific purchase. Um, but since some of the color changes are a little subtle, um, having the shade helps preserve the, some of the subtleties of what we're looking at. Okay then, thanks a lot. <laughs> okay, so I've, I've come back on down to the actual site. I'm sitting in our marquee where we eat all, all our meals and socialise and have the pub quiz, which isn't really a pub quiz, it's, it's a marquee quiz, but we call it, it's a pub quiz, okay? Just accept that. Um, yes, it's it's still very, very hot out. Oh god. Um, so what Louis was uh, showing, showing us earlier was um, we have a pit and it's been lined with clay and then we have wattle and daub and uh, other burnt materials including some charcoal and um, we, can, we can see a lot of that very very well and um, but the thing is because it's, um, it's a pit in a valley at the bottom of a hill it, we're not entirely sure what it was used for because all the water would have gone into it and it was lined with clay so 
um, that's it's just, it's just going to keep water in it essentially. And but because of the burnt stuff, it doesn't appear to be a well, and it's it's the wrong shape. So we're not too sure. So if you, if you'd like to suggest something, please do, because I I have no clue. I mean I have ideas, but yeah, they're probably wrong. Um, and then Alison was explaining that we have um, basically because it's so so hot. The uh, the tarpaulin we've set up acts as both shade for archaeologists, stops all the soil drying out quite so quickly. And if you want to, if you want to sort of imagine how tough it is once the soil has dried out, go into your garden or, or you know down to the park or wherever you can get some soil, get it, leave it out in the sun. Like just find a place where there's no there's no wind or very little wind. Leave it in the sun see how quickly it dries then imagine trying to get through that it's like concrete because we have um we have a very sandy and chalky surface here so, um i'm about to take you up to 22 again um we have um we, have, we still have a very a very nice structure here which isn't a church we thought it was it wasn't we were disappointed um we also have a we also still have an absolutely massive pit from which a ton of oyster shells and animal bones are coming out. Um, it's we've dug this pit before in previous years, but we haven't um, properly looked at the shells and animal bones, mainly because there have been such a great, great number of them. So um, we have um, a group of people who are more interested in that than other people are here, so they're having a proper look. So um, they just keep bringing down trays and buckets of the stuff. We have some massive bones coming out of that. And um, it's so what we believe it is. It's sort of a um, it's got it's gotten a bit caught in spoil heaps previous years, and it's also um, a trash pit from the past. So you had your meal, you, you scrape the oyster shells clean, tossed it in the trash. That's that's basically what it is. We have a big big trash bin. Um, on twenty two, um, we also have. Um, a big pile of bones in one of the corner. They're not. They're not human. They're animal. It's definitely animal. They're definitely not human. Um, we've all looked at it. We've all agreed they're not human. We've all agreed they're animal. Um, so, so that's quite interesting. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to show you that um, because some people are still working on that. So it might be easier if we uh, wait for another day to do that. Um, let me see. What else have we got? That's, that's all I can think of at the moment. I'll, I'll, I'll update you if I can think of anything else. Okay, welcome back to the glory that is 22. Um, I'll give you one of the, I'll give you a quick tour of what we've got going in week two. Um, we'll start off with the massive, massive pit over there, which is very exciting. Okay, so this is the massive pit I told you about. Um, it's quite nice. It's um, it's got a lot of backfill from previous trenches because we have dug it before, but we've never properly. Well, we have gotten some animal bones out, but there are a lot of animal bones and oyster shells in there. As you can see, it's very very nice. Um, so basically, what this was was some sort of rubbish dump. So you have your meal, finish your. Finish your lamb, your leg of lamb, and then with the bone, you just toss it out. So we have we have some students here who are collecting oysters and bones and all that sort of stuff, and they're doing research into that. So that's why that's what they're doing over here. And um, they've they've also found a very nice dog skull. So so this is this is Fido or uh, Timmy, or whatever you want to name your dog. Spot. This is Spot. So, yes. Okay, so this is our structure. We've, we've uncovered it quite nicely. It's sort of at the same level as it was last year. Um, I'm, I'm doing this up high because, as you can see, it's got, it's got say, caution tape around it, so they stop people going on it unnecessarily. And also you get a better view of it from up here. 
Um, we thought it was a church at first, it's not. However, it's got beams, it's got beam slots, as you can see. And generally these structures we find have post holes, so in very basic terms, what that basically means is that they've taken their post, hammered it into the ground, as the roof, that's the structure. Whilst with these, with the beam slots, they've gone out, they've prop they've made an investment, they've actually taken some time to make sure they've got the right wood, the right materials, and then they've thought, they thought about how they want to set this up. So they've put a lot of time and effort into it. Okay, and welcome to week two. It's day three, which makes it day nine in total. Um, it's very hot. Just have to say this, um, today it's a, it's, a good over 30 degrees, I think it's 32 right now, which are uh, boiling! And we've got cars going past. Um, so basically what happened today is um, we started excavation on structure O on trench 22. We worked until lunch, until it got too hot to work. Um, so now people are um, working in the archives, sorting stuff out, uh, cleaning finds. Um, so it's a bit of a half day. We're not taking the day off, there's other stuff to do, um, like as I said, uh, cleaning and sorting finds. But yeah, it's a bit of a short one today because it's very, <laughs> it's very warm and we're doing a manual labour. But now, hopefully, no one will get heat stroke because we'll be working kind of indoors. But yeah, if you have any comments or questions, please put them down below. Um, if you want to get in touch with us, all our contact information is down down in the info place yeah and um yeah subscribe and you guys will get to see more of what we're doing a shop yeah see you in the next one